So I've had a few questions from people asking what it is I actually do. I am a content writer. I work both remotely and from an office. I'm not freelance. I work for a company and I just want to get that straight off the bat. This is not a freelance position. I filmed a day in my life commuting into the office and I'm going to talk you through what it is I actually do. All right, come along with me to the office. Here we go. Whenever I commute into the office, it starts with a brief walk to the bus stop. Normally, in nicer weather than this but this is just what we've got today thankfully i don't live too far away from where i actually work it just involves a bus journey and a train journey all right that is me off the bus it's only a quick journey um into blackpool and now i need to head to the shop get myself a meal deal and then sorry there's a guy cleaning a building using one of those big broom mop things. Can you tell that we're in Blackpool? They just about slap the Blackpool Tower anywhere they can put it. I'm not from Blackpool, in case you can't tell. Meal deal has been acquired, thank you Sainsbury's. To the train station now, look at little Blackpool North. As train stations go, there's nothing particularly special about Blackpool North, but it's a train station, what can I say? All right, my train has been cooled. Let's go. the train now made it successful it's only like two stops away from Blackpool so <laughs> quick walk to the office and then I actually have to start work which is the unfortunate part so obviously when I get into the office I'm gonna have to actually do my job so I'm not gonna be able to record loads but I'm still gonna get footage and then future me who you've already heard from will explain more about what it is I actually do because I get a fair few questions about what a content writer actually is which is a fair question because I didn't know not that long ago so yeah so on a fundamental level as a content writer I write either website content or blog articles the company that I work for has many clients up and down the country, all from different trades and professions. This means that I can be writing website content or blog articles for pest control, for plumbing, heating, dog grooming. The, the list is, is endless. I am free. Today was a good day. Today was a very productive day. I wrote a few blog articles. To be honest, that is the best thing about my job is just how varied it is because I have I have no idea what I'm gonna write until I get there which is nice but thankfully the sun has come out it definitely wasn't like this this morning I was I was a wet cold mess now I just have to do my route back home walk to the train station get the train and then get a bus <sighs> good times as part of the content writing team, I have to research and write a certain amount of articles every single week. If there is a company and they want a website built, then our company does it for them. We have content writers, we have a sales team, and we have web designers all kind of working in unison to create these products. Now, when I'm working from home, this is generally what my setup is. Although I don't always work in this room, which is a loft slash attic. I work in here most of the time and it's just a nice space to really just think and write in because if you want to be a content writer you need your own space to actually be able to read and write and, and think creatively because this is a creative job. Writing blog articles is the same as writing anything else really. You must do your research and you need to know what you're talking about and you need to just have a voice. By a voice I mean a creative voice. Why are people choosing to read 
this article. When you write a poem, a book, a script, or a stage play, you have to think about why the audience are there and why they should even be interested. Obviously, I don't know a lot of things about the companies that I'm writing about, which is why the research is essential. You have to get yourself into the minds of that audience that would be reading that sort of blog. For example, let me give you a hypothetical blog title that is typical to something that I would write. What are the benefits of using a power washer in your garden? Okay, so that is a very boring question to me. To me, that is not the sort of thing that I would even think about Googling. But other people would. The power of blog articles is they allow you to answer a question that the people that you are selling your products to would be asking. A blog article doesn't necessarily lead directly back to the website and lead to sales per se, but it leads to engagement. If you host a landscape design company and you are writing a blog article about power washing in your garden, people are going to be googling that exact question and not your business. But the two are linked. So whether I'm at home or I'm in the office, my job is exactly the same. I just like to go into the office to actually socialise and be around the same creative people that I'm working with every single day. I have made a video on working from home and I highly recommend you check it out if you are in a similar position to me. If you want to be a content writer then I make regular videos on the topic and I try and give advice as I am learning myself so be sure to subscribe if that's something that you're interested in. Until then have a fantastic week and I will talk to you next Friday. Bye bye.